हेलो फ्रेंड्स पेट्रोल द मोस्ट वैल्यूएबल फूड फॉर आर बाइक्स एंड कार्स बट व्हाट इफ दिस फूड इट सेल्फ टर्न्स इनटू पॉइजन यस सच अ डेंजर हैज नाउ स्टार्टेड ट्रबलिंग इंडियास व्हीकल ओनर्स द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हैज स्टार्टेड वर्किंग टू रिड्यूस इंडियास ऑयल इंपोर्ट बर्डन एंड फॉर दिस इट इज इंक्रीजिंग द परसेंटेज ऑफ एथेनॉल इन पेट्रोल अर्लियर पेट्रोल हैड 10% एथेनॉल मिक्स्ड इन इट now it has been increased to 20% and very soon the plan is to take it further to 27% but here is the problem automobile companies themselves have told the government that this will damage the engines they have also warned the government don't blame us later this is your decision even the insurance companies are opposing the plan they say they could reject claims if a vehicle's engine fails after using e20 petrol but now government is planning to take it up to 27% mixing of ethanol into petrol so now the big questions is ethanol really good or bad can ethanol blended petrol damage your car two wheelers will your mileage dramatically drop what do studies say and what exactly is happening in india's energy sector let's understand everything in this today's video please stay with us till the very end what is ethanol petrol friends before understanding what is happening because of this mixing that is mixing of petrol and ethanol it is very important to know what is mixing actually means many of you may already know this mixing ethanol into petrol is called ethanol blending ethanol is a type of alcohol it is made from plants like molasses from sugarcane and also from maize corn from these agricultural products alcohol is extracted then in small amounts it is mixed with petrol it is used as a biofuel when ethanol is present petrol burns more completely efficiently that is because ethanol contains oxygen this means there is less unburned petrol waste as a result carbon smoke from the engine will also reduce this is good for the environment and most importantly it reduces dependence on petrol imported oil because crude oil we have to import from foreign countries right you know it india consumes 77 crore liters or 770 million liters of oil per day for this we spend about 2000 to 3000 crore rupees every day that is nearly 300 million dollars every day nearly 3/4 of our foreign currency spending is only on oil but ethanol we can produce it ourselves inside india if we mix even a little ethanol in petrol our oil expenses will significantly reduce also since ethanol comes from crops like sugarcane and maize our farmers also will benefit from it how india's ethanol program began india started the ethanol blending program in 2003 but in those days there was no proper system to extract ethanol in india so during the upa government this program did not get much traction or importance in 2014 when narendra modi's government came to power the focus increased especially transport minister nitin gadkari pushed ethanol blending at high speed in 2018 the national biofuel policy was also introduced large scale ethanol production started in india and earlier ethanol was extracted only from molasses gadkari introduced to also make ethanol from maize and rice as well Because of all these steps India started achieving ethanol blending targets very fast during the UPA era the target was E5 only 5% ethanol in petrol but under the Modi government in just 3 years they reached E10 10% ethanol blending later in 2020 23 it reached to 12.06% in 2023 24 it reached to 14.6% by february 2025 it reached 18% finally in july 2025 india has successfully reached 20% ethanol blending target this target was achieved 5 years ahead of the schedule now the plan is to take it to 27% very soon 
फ्रेंड्स गवर्नमेंट से अचीव दिस टारगेट बाई एंड ऑफ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव द गवर्नमेंट क्लेम ऑफ बेनिफिट अकॉर्डिंग टू द गवर्नमेंट इन द फिनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव एथेनॉल ब्लेंडिंग है इंडिया वन पॉइंट थ्री लैख क्रोर इन रुपीज दट इज मोर देन फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फाइव बिलियन डॉलर एंड फ्रेंड्स इट हैज जनरेटेड वन पॉइंट वन एट लैख क्रोर रुपीज ऑफ इनकम फॉर शुगर के फार्मर्स दट इज ऑल्सो मोर देन फोर्टीन बिलियन डॉलर डिस्टिलरीज हैव ऑल्सो अर्न वन पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स लैख क्रोर रुपीज एंड वेन इट कम्स टू एनवायरमेंट पर किलोमीटर ग्रीन हाउस गैस एमिशन हैव रिड्यूस बाई थ्री टू फोर परसेंट बट ऑन द अदर हैंड देर आर सीरियस क्लेम्स दैट दिस फ्यूल विल डैमेज द वहीकल्स एंड स्पेशली वहीकल इंजिनस इंजिनस आर गेटिंग डैमेज First problem mileage drop ethanol produces 30% of less energy compared to petrol so even with just e10 petrol mileage drops by 2 to 3% second ethanol is hygroscopic it attracts water from the air this can cause long term issues like bad idling stalling and eventually engine damage third old vehicles are at higher risk Older cars have rubber hoses, gaskets, o-rings and even some plastic parts in engine. And since ethanol is alcohol, it can react with these materials. It can make them swell, soften and weaken. And problem number 4, lubrication problem. Pure petrol provides good lubrication. Petrol pumps inside engine can run for years without damage. but ethanol reduces lubrication this means fuel pumps can wear out faster modern cars have ethanol resistant coatings on fuel pumps injector seals and pipes so they are safer but older vehicles have no such protection so they can get damaged very quickly fifth point compatibility issue an engine designed for e10 petrol may not run properly on e20 petrol that is why automobile companies have won the government our older vehicles are e10 compatible not e20 so if you force e20 vehicles will get damaged this is the warning from the automobile companies to the government friends already complaints of engine knocking and rough idling are increasing this is why even the insurance companies are blocking the road for e20 fuel some insurers have cautioned that they could reject claims if vehicles engine fails after using e20 petrol in models which are not designed for it another big problem no labeling petrol pumps do not label whether it is e10 or e20 petrol yes your bikes and cars may have stickers saying e10 e20 but the pumps don't display it so many old vehicles unknowingly fill e20 petrol and then they start having problems if this continues there could be large scale reliability issues there are claims that the fuel could even cause road accidents real mileage drop reports some data says e20 petrol can cause a 4% drop in mileage one person said i have a maruti suzuki brezza when i started using e20 petrol my mileage dropped from 17 to 18 km per liter to just 14 km per liter but the government says these allegations are baseless it suggests that international studies have shown ethanol causes no such problems however the government has not mentioned explicitly that which studies they are referring to but friends here we have to mention one thing it is about brazil brazil is already blending up to 27% of ethanol into petrol and they are planning to make it to 30% as soon as possible they have successfully implemented it but in india 820 only causing lot of debate friends what is your opinion on this Please let us know on the comment section below and if you like this video please don't forget to like share and especially please don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you so much let's meet again namaste